Hi Mike, I want to thank you for your interest in our roller press for your project. Um, I've got your die and your samples here. Uh, what I'm going to do... The die looks pretty used. Uh, the blades are starting to pop out through the back side of the die here. So uh, I'm not sure how well the test will get. But the ejection foam would be the, my concern because you can only press this down so far and you've only got a limited amount of blade that you can use so the, the compression on the foam is going to be a, a critical factor as far as how much you can get of the die blade use so I'm going to go ahead and try it here with just the die the, the way it is what you'll do is you'll set your die on the die pan there's a steel die pan that comes with the press you'll put your material on top of that And then you'll lay your cutting board on top of the die on the material like this. You get it positioned so that it's ready to go through. Put your directional signal on to the right direction you want to go. Push the button. And it looks like it cut pretty cleanly. Uh, got a little, one little corner in there that might have a a gap in it that's not cutting completely through on your die. So it's just a little bit difficult to pull out, but it did cut very well. Um, so two is going to be about the maximum you're going to be able to get. Now if you have a different die layout, uh, the one you sent me, I've got one here that's similar to that. It's, it's four squares, but these do have some punch holes in it. I, this is just for a demonstration purpose. Um, i go ahead and get that die pan back over here. Now this machine has a variable motor so you can turn this up or down however fast you want to go. I'm going to lay this die on here. Now I'm going to put your material right on top of that. Get the wrinkles out. You have to make sure your material is nice and flat on here. Otherwise it's going to have a... The, the positioning is going to be wrong. You lay your die pan on top of that. Get this over where it's very clear. You put your die pan on top, your cutting board on top of that. Get everything positioned, ready to go. As you can see, this die cuts out very, very cleanly, and it also it punched the uh, the holes in the top as well, just like it was supposed to. So uh, that's the way your die will work. Now the concept you sent me should work great on here with two layers. I'll go ahead and send you the video over, and I'll give you a call. We'll discuss it. Thank you.